All right, right in the game. Uno! Starterville yet again. It is the cream of the crop around here. Crop of the cream, cream of the crop. Creamy crops, crappy creams. Yeah, Ar already I had an idea of what this was gonna go like if Partridge doesn't kind of just take himself, uh, take a look at his own neutral and kind of just pull back and be like, okay, I can't, I can't do all this jumping. I can't do all these aerials. I gotta get in there, see when Poyo is like throwing out an aerial because after he throws out an aerial, like a fair, he can't, he can't land with another aerial. He doesn't have like a frame three or frame four aerial, so he's committed to that. He's got to land and shield or roll or you know counter, do all that. But that comes later. That's the mix-ups. You got you got to initially punish him for doing it first. So all right now we're seeing Poyo with the aggressive neutral because he already knows. Oh, Peach, she's gonna be vulnerable most of the time, and if she's not, she's gonna be air dodging. So I can hit her for the air dodge, and that's exactly what Poyo did right there and cleaned out the stock at 100 at the end of the Smashable platform. See him plenty of buttons pressed, but are they being pressed in the right direction? If you were asking that for Poyo, I'd say that was the right case. I don't know about Partridge. Partridge with a clean comeback, though, only 50%. All right, if he can get in on Poyo once, he can, like, really seal off this deficit, but he's got to be careful. He is a light character, and you do not want to get tippered. I like how he sneaked in the hearts right under him. You give him a little kiss, just a little love tap. That's all he needed. But that shield is what he's going to need in about 10 seconds as Poyo keeps pressuring him. Hit after hit. Partridge finally getting stage control, but then the hard read with the up smash is going to make him instantly lose it. Like I'm losing my peanuts right now. My bananas. My miscellaneous items are gone. They are not in my possession. That's not going to kick. Uh, <laughs> who am I? Where's Granny Smith when you need him? That obviously killed. What am I thinking? Boyo doing a fantastic job. Just recognizing what he needed to do, which was hit Peach out of the air. You really gotta look at matchups like that sometimes. Sometimes you gotta put it in a frame. You gotta give it a you gotta give it a structure. Once you give it a structure, then you could start breaking it down into into components, but we never got to the components. We just got the structure. We got that main vague concept that uh, Poyo just kind of stuck with. Not too much development of a neutral, but it's, it's just like straightforward. It's like Peach is going to want to jump and you're going to want to shut them off uh, from their aerials, so you're going to anti-air, which is how Poyo won that match. It's just Partridge never got to the part after where it's like, oh, that's clean. That was cute. Alright, Daisy. Calm down. But yeah, anyways, just keep that in mind. Anyone who's like watching, or if you're re-watching this for notes. See that one time that Partridge did really well and got a lot of percent. He kind of stayed grounded and punished him with a grab. Oof, he's got to stop jumping. That's what Poyo's looking for. He's looking to catch out that jump. So he can just force you into a worse and worse scenario. Fourth throw. Oh, no. He said we don't need those. <sighs> he could have killed him. could have killed him for that. Partridge playing a lot more cautious and only has 65%. So now Poyo is going to be on the receiving end of all this shutting out because he has to approach. But if he's able to force Partridge at the ledge like he's been doing, it shouldn't be too long before he's able to get that finishing blow. Right. At 100%, Partridge one hit away from death. He's got to keep racking on as much percent as he can if he wants to bring this set back to an even score. That was very risky from Poyo. I don't even know if that would have killed. Partridge taking full advantage of it. 80%. Is he going to take this momentum to the end? Poyo really needs to get the kill right now. Lucky enough to catch that turn up and reusing it over and over again, almost getting the third hit. That's the worst feeling is having your own projectile used against you. Oh, you're just unable to get the finisher. He's getting the the initial launchers, but just unable to get the the finisher. 
See? Yeah, you got the launcher. It's just you got to account for percent. Both of them are just whiffing right now. Up throw. Yeah, it's going to kill. Okay, so Partridge, he can't get too anxious here. Don't force the kill. Let the kill come to you because Poyo, he is in a very bad situation. When people are in a bad situation, they tend to make bad decisions. So you got to point those out and then capitalize when it's time. If it's not time, <laughs> you better wait for it to be time, son. What did I tell you? Oh, yep, see? He's trying to force it. Now Poyo, little by little, is just poking him, getting that percent back. And if he gets a tipper now, say la vie, because you're gone. Oh, he turned that around. 180, and Poyo with the shield break. Nasty, nasty, getting the 2-0. All right, Poyo. I see you. That was so unfortunate, though. I really wasn't expecting him to get um, a shield break at that point. But Partridge was just trying to force it just a little too much.